In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an animated color box in Premiere. To get started, I just added a background video to my timeline, so I have something to put my call out box on top of. Let's begin by positioning the time edge of where you want the call box to start showing. Make sure you don't have any clips selected by clicking anywhere in the empty space on your timeline. Then go up to Graphics New Layer Rectangle. Drag the rectangle over to the corner of your screen and use one of the corner handles to increase its size. Over in Effect Controls for a new rectangle. Scroll down until you see the shape's appearance properties. I'm going to add a shadow to give it a little more style. Drag the distance slider so that you can see it better and make sure the rest of your shadow's values are roughly the same as mine. Click the color picker box next to shadow and select a white color. Okay, this looks pretty nice, so let's move on and add some text. Click anywhere in the empty area on your timeline to deselect your rectangle graphic, then select the type tool. Click somewhere outside your rectangle in the video preview to create a new text graphic. Now just type the text you want for your callout box. Once you finish typing, use a selection tool to drag it on top of your graphic. Click and drag a new timeline to select both your rectangle and new text graphic. Right-click them and select Nest. Now that they're nesting, we can animate both of them together as one object. Select your nested sequence and go up to Effect Controls. Click on the motion properties so that you can see the anchor point in the preview. Drag it over to the upper left corner of your graphic. This way Premiere knows that we want to start our animation from this point, making it look like a rectangle graphic is slowly expanding from this corner. Now make sure your time is positioned at the start of the sequence. Click on the stopwatch toggle next to scale to create a starting keyframe, then change the skills value to zero. Move the time that a little bit forward and changes skills value to 100 to create a second keyframe. Okay, this animation looks good, but you're probably going to want to animate it going off screen to move the timeline to where you want the color box to go off screen. Click on the hollow circle between the two keyframe arrows to create a third keyframe. Move the time head a little further down. Change the scales value to zero and to create an ending keyframe. All right, and now when I play this back, the color box animates off screen. For our final touch, let's smooth out the animation a little click and drag to select your first two keyframes. Right click one of them and select ease out, then drag to select your last two keyframes. Right click one of them and select ease in and now when I play this back, it looks smoother. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.